This video was recorded in front of a live virtual audience. Hi everybody, Jacob here. Welcome back to the Fashion Bunker. Today, <laughs> consumerism galore. We're unboxing something else from Chanel. Ha! Go figure. Yes, it's happening again, as we would say in Twin Peaks. So, um, I'm a little Chanel bag ready as well. A little bag necklace moment. Um, let me straighten it. And uh, let me do a little uh, thumbnail time. And I'm going to do some more later, but this is just, you know, you get the gist. Okay, so listen, um, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Push the join button next to the subscription button. Become a member today, get access to extra perks. You can also join me on Patreon, Super Dick all spelled together, for extra perks there as well. Thank you to my members and patrons who have already pledged. I live stream every Saturday. This video is being filmed live in front of a live virtual audience. You're all welcome to join the live streams and the live chats every Saturday on my channel. Hi, everybody in the chats. So, you guys, I'm going to unbox this. And um, Tyler is saying maybe an SLG. Nah. Thumb up the video if you're liking it thus far. Okay, so whatever we're guessing. So, listen. Um... I warned you that there was going to be another unboxing because I am that crazy person that does uh, crazy stuff like this. So, uh, look. Actually, this was hiding in here. Yeah. Uh, hold on. Okay, so we got this moment here. Um, which, you know, this is how it was delivered to me, actually. I had to put it in that little bag for uh, the the purposes of you lifting this and you sing and box what, what is what is this yeah I needed that little bag uh, because the box was shipped to me like this right so you kind of take you rip this little thing off and then you open this and look how cute they actually made this because when you lift this up look you got the little Chanel logo there but then these two little flaps are cut out here so that they actually match the Chanel thing. I mean, attention to detail, right? Attention. I, I love shit like this. Like, this is like little design elements that really get me. They really get me. They, they, I, I'm a sucker for this stuff. I'm really a sucker for stuff like this. So anyway, it's such an object. It's a moment. It's, it, it's a, oh, maybe this is also a screenshot moment. I don't know. Cause it, it kind of has something about it. Maybe a, it's worthy of a screen of a thumbnail moment as well. Hmm. Okay. Now let me, okay. So, um, more logos everywhere. In here, I think, is my bill and, yeah, the return form in case I want to return whatever's in here. And here we have the actual box. So I'm looking at the control monitor there because I don't want anything to fall off. And I'm looking at the chats. Chanel soy sauce holder to go with the Louis Vuitton chopsticks, says Julie. So, yeah. Okay. So, um... This is where it's at. Little wax seal. It's not a real wax seal. It's just a sticker that's mimicking a wax seal to kind of reference the bottle charge, which are the little wax seals that we have on the bottle charge of the pure perfumes of pure perfumes. It's like the splash bottles, the 15 mil, 7.5 mil, 30 mil bottles. Usually they come with, usually they always come with a little wax seal here. And then when you kind of break that wax seal and open these. So that's kind of mimicking that wax seal in sticker form similar to the stickers that came in the advent calendar except this one was for free so then um let me lift this moment oh by the way oh, hold on let me just take the sticker off. stay tuned till the end of the video uh because i know a lot of you like to tune out after you've seen what it is and you're like okay done but there's more to it i'm telling you this is going to be interesting Okay, so, ooh, you guys, Pep says stickers, right? We love the sticker. Okay, hold on. Oh, oh no, wait. Oh, 
I'll be right back. Something fell down. And I'm back. This. So, of course, since I ordered it online, I wanted to include a little note from me to me. Look how cute. So, Chanel does this better than Dior. Uh, because I also do these Dior, when I order Dior perfumes, for example, I hate their font and they kind of print everything to the side of the paper. It's not so elegant. Only if you order the Collection Privé, they do nice paper. But if you do regular perfume purchases, they do cheaper paper. Like Dior is so cheap. But anyway, so, oh wait, I'm going to read it to you. Hold on. So it, it says Chanel on the back, right? This is a little Chanel card. Now listen to what I wrote, me, myself, and I to me. Oh my God, really? This is so tacky. Okay, this is too tacky even for me. The print is not really straight. They, they kind of printed it a little bit off, but yeah, they, they're, okay, whatever. Okay, wear them in good health inside Coco's Tyrian Pink Bubblegum Treasure Island Fantasy D. <laughs> I mean, this is just so ridiculous. Okay, you see that it's not really straight. It's a little bit off. Cent I mean, it's a little bit tilted. They didn't really print it. It's a typical Chanel. But their logo is centered. You best believe their logo is centered. So anyway, really cute. You know, giving myself a little card moment. You should always do it. It's included in the price. Might as well. So let me put the little card back. That's kind of cute. See, right? Um, all right. So there's that. Oh. <laughs> So we're back to this wonderfully plissé type of tissue paper. What am I saying? Look. Check it out. Look at this. Look how they kind of folded all of these. Oh, gosh. Okay, hold on. Ooh, it's falling out, you guys. Let me take this out so I can show to you the wonder that is a waste of paper that is Chanel. Isn't this gorgeous? Living ferret. Living ferret. Okay. They fold these much nicer when you order online than they would fold them in the boutiques. And the boutiques are a little bit quick with folding them. But this is just, I mean, this is so cool. I just live for these useless moments i never throw any of this away by the way this chanel tissue paper just remains in my archives just like this folded and i look at it from time to time just like a little sculpture yeah it's just paper but hey paper i don't take paper for granted i love paper and i respect paper a lot so any clue let's get to the actual thing So, I mean, you might have guessed it. But as I said, stay tuned because whatever we're going to see now, it's a little bit dusty though, isn't it? Oh no, it's finger. Oh no, it's because it rubs itself. It rubs itself. Yeah, it rubs itself and it puts the lotion in the basket. Okay. Oh, the decadenza of it says Mo S, right? Fab says Orsi. No, I was not <laughs> blocked from online orders. No, no, no. They have different limits uh, online than they do in store. Mm. Okay, the new pouches from the Spring Summer 22 collection are to die for because they're in fabric. It feels very couture, very Chanel to have them in actual fabric and not in that pleather that they kind of, you know, have them always. So it's almost like it's in Jersey or something. It really feels... I'm living for it. And then it has that kind of microfiber cloth on the inside, super soft, except it's a bit more felty than it, it used to be microfiber-esque. Now it's more felty. And, of course, we have the fourth, the fourth version, which was the missing colorway, which we now got. It would be the pink ones. Now, I'm really curious to see how they look in this light. They do look like bubblegum pink, on camera they are more blue it's like a very blue tinted pink of course they have the blue frames in the front and then we got the gold chanel double c hardware and a very dark okay so i'm seeing already in the camera here with the lights it looks much lighter in reality it's not Tyrian pink like i wish and it's not a barbie pink like i wish it's it's a dark blue 
pink. Okay, it's a dark pink. Um, Tyler says, so adorable like candy. I know, they're amazing. They are amazing. I wish they were a little bit lighter in pink. It, it's a little bit... It's a toned down pink. It's um, it's a very blue tinted pink. But anyway. Hey, it's Barbie, bitches. So, yes, I'm a Barbie girl in a Barbie world. Um, now, obviously, why I said don't leave the video, stay with us. Because, you know, finally the collection is complete. Yes, I am that crazy person that got all the colorways. And... Um, all four. <laughs> what do you guys think? You live in for it? Mature pink. Yeah. Oh, yes. Okay. That sounds really good. Mature pink. Now, you know, I'm a collector of Chanel sunglasses. Now you're going to think like, he's crazy. What did he get for pairs? I'm a collector of sunglasses, uh, sh of Chanel sunglasses since decades now. So, but I've never really fallen in love with a collection so much like with this one that I actually bought all colorways. Um, usually it's just one that I'm interested in. But their acetates have become really good and really thick. Such good quality. And the colors are just so amazing. Plus this kind of 90s, you know, they're going for this 90s cut of the frames being relatively straight on top, just slightly curved at the side. And then, and then, but they're flat here on the nose area. They don't have this little bump that they used to have in the early 2000s and also in the 10s. Um, and then we go to this kind of closure here, but not quite cat eye because it's not completely rounded off. There's an actual edge there. And then they're kind of straight here. So they're not cat eye. They're actually called pilot shape um, with a relatively thick pair of temples. Now the temples could have been even thicker if they wanted to, but this is kind of... Oh my God, living for this. Living ferret. Okay, living ferret. Now uh, let's do... What other model we got here? Okay, so here we have the green ones, which are also, right? Hold on. From this collect collection. <laughs> the, the, the green and the pink moment, right? Hold on, I don't want to mix anything up here. Okay. Then we have the show opener of the, because these are runway models. Now these two did not hit the runway, but the shape hit the runway. So this model, oh, the shape, and I'm talking about the shape and we have Michael Myers in the house. He's also called the shape, by the way, haha. <laughs> these are the show openers from the uh, spring summer 2022 collection. The first look to hit the runway wore these shades, black and white. As you can see here, we got the, double C logo on the temples here. We got a bunch of little tiny ones. I've unboxed each one of these pairs separately for you to watch in separate videos if you wish to enjoy. So we got the white ones and then the ones I got blocked for. This is a fun video. You should check out this video unboxing because it's a story time video. Hilarious. Well, hilarious. Annoying because they blocked me and then oh, anyway, you should watch the video. It was, it's a doozy. And this is look number two from the runway. So uh, spring, summer 2022. Black acetate with gold hardware. So it's the same as with the white one. This one has black little double C's and this one has gold ones and metal. These are, I think, plastic. So, <laughs> okay, I need a, I need a thumbnail for, I need a screenshot of this, you guys. I need photos. Hold on. Okay, I'm gonna need photos. If I can position it properly. No, I need to position it. Hold on, you guys. This is so hard to do. Hold on, what are we doing here? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Hmm.
Okay. So, <laughs> I mean, do you know the photo of um, Lee Bowery with a bunch of glasses and then I think Boy George also did his version of wearing a, a bunch of sunglasses as an homage or copying Lee Bowery, but actually I think Lee Bowery was the first one to do it, to wear a bunch of sunglasses on top of each other. It kind of reminds us, it's a little bit reminiscent of that. Um, I'll take one in every color, says Rachel. Uh, Cece says, yes, black and white is so chic, says KDF. Those small CC though, live in ferret, says Pap. Yeah, the tiny CCs, it, it, it's a moment. It's something Chanel never did before. Um, this, the, the, the technique that actually they used to make these is something they did not have in the 90s. So these sunglasses made as they are like this right now with the three dimensionality with these kind of like padded, you see how they kind of go inwards, padding, quilting, and then placing, uh, you know, laser cutting the double C holes into the acetate and then placing the little double C logos inside each one of these holes. This was not possible in the 90s. They did not have the technology for that. So this is kind of a modern take on a 90s shape with a very thick acetate. They're amazing. The quality of these things is to die for. Uh, and I am so thrilled to have been able to hunt them down to complete the set. I think they're gorgeous. I think they suit me. I'm not saying, oh, I look amazing with them. They're funny. They're quirky, especially the pink ones. I mean, you got to have a sense of humor to kind of be able to pull them off, obviously. Um, they're humorous. They're they're witty, you know, what, what have you. And I love that. You know, Chanel doesn't often do pink, um, especially with sunglasses. They don't often do pink. They do you know, the black colorways, they, they do their beige tones, they do their metals, a lot of metal temples, they do little pearls hanging and dangling. But pink is something that last time they did a real pink, bubblegum pink was in, in the in the mid 90s uh, with a pair of sunglasses that I also have in my collection that were worn by Claudia Schiffer on the runway. That was a beautiful bubblegum pink mixed with a lime yellow. So like here we have pink and blue. Those were yellow, lime, lime, yellow, lime, not green, like a yellow, particular sunshine yellow, lemon yellow, not lime, lime is green. Um, lemon yellow and bubblegum pink with huge gold double C logos. Now, also something that they didn't know how to do in the 90s, but they can do now, is creating a double C that is just like the, maybe I can zoom this in, I don't know if I can though, hold on. So you can see that the double C is not flat. In the 90s, the double C would have been flat. They, they could only do flat. This new modern double C is following the pattern of the quilting. So the double C is padded within the quilting. It's such a beautiful, uh, there you can see it, look. And it's not printed. This is a piece of metal that is screwed onto the temples. You can see in the back, the two screws. There you have the two little golden screws to screw in uh, the double C. Um, that's amazing. That's a moment. Let me tell you, that's a moment. Um, Brittany says, I wish I could buy these, but they wouldn't fit my face. I mean, these are really big. I have a big face, so I'm, and uh, that's another one of the reasons why I decided to go for all of them because it's kind of rare for Chanel to make such big glasses. Usually they're quite tiny and they don't really fit my face. These, I still wish they were a little bit bigger, but I know that a lot of people that have smaller, thinner faces, these are a little bit oversized. So, but, you know, and are, they're available on the Chanel website. So you guys, depending on which country you're in, the prices do vary a little bit, but they do, you know, I think only in Australia, they don't send them. I don't think they sell sunglasses online in Australia on the Chanel website, but other countries they do. So you can you can check them out. Um, yeah, you can check out the price. These are not the Shield Asia. These are the Pilot version. I th I think your 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 price is wrong on those. I think. The 
I love the pink in the light. When they're illuminated properly, the pink becomes the bubblegum pink I love. It's just in real light, um, they are darker. So let's say if you were to go out and about in the sun, on the street, um, they, they will look raspberry, like a raspberry pink more than a bubblegum pink. Um, yeah. So of the four, and these are all the four colorways in existence of the pilot version, which one would be your favorite? Are you more for the playful Chanel side, which is kind of rare nowadays in the pink hues? These are the rarest ones of the four, by the way. Green, green and blue. This is a combo that Chanel never did before. I've never seen Chanel do these two colors together. I think they're amazing. I think they're so playful. They do serve a Castel Bajac um, 80s slash 90s. Some people, when I unboxed them, said it looks very much like United Colors of Benetton, although Benetton uses a different green. This is more of a Pierre Cardin moss green. But then again, mix the, mixing it with the blue, uh, it, it's a sporty vibe. It's a really, really gorgeous vibe. For Chanel standards, this is amazing. They never do these colors. So I was like, oh my gosh, <laughs> this is amazing. Because when I saw the runway looks, the only two that hit the runway were these two. And I thought, oh, okay, well then, you know, black and white it is, you know. But then, when they presented the, the sunglasses online and these two popped up, I was like, ah, okay, a very pleasant, unexpected surprise because they did not hit the runway. So I was like, oh my God, I have to have them. So green blue, says Marlo. Marlo prefers the green blue. Love the green and blue combo, says uh, Maytham. And Antonella also says green and blue. Julia says pink, white, and green, please. Jesse says the green and blue are everything. Pap says green and blue with the small CCs. I would be on that. Pap, they did the green and blue with the small CCs in the shield version. Because there's two models. There's the pilot and then there's the shield. And they just inverted the temples. So the black on black pilot has the tiny CCs. Black on black shield has the big CC. So... Pilot model, green on blue, big CC. Shield, green on blue, small CCs. But it's a different cut. They're a little bit more longer. Like, they're a little bit more long, flat, and they have one piece of, of, of glass. The actual lenses are, are one piece. That's why they're called the shield. Um, and they're a little bit more elongated. Jesus says, black for me. I like them all, says Debs. Black and white for me, says Orsi. Hmm, can't choose which one. Better pilot one or the other, says Asia. Uh, green is my favorite, says Asia. Jesus says black. Oh, sorry, I read that one. She says, hate that Chanel doesn't sell anything online in Australia. I, I wonder why they do that. They should, I mean, they've been expanding. I don't I don't get why they don't do that in Australia. Cece says, I love all of them. Pap says, I saw those. Don't really care for the shield model. Uh, Tris Scott's one fan, Don J says, oh, I did see the green on blue or blue on green then. Yeah, because there's both versions, exactly. One with the tiny double Cs and one with one big double C. Oh, Monarch just got the black ones. I think you wrote me that already, right? Congrats. Wishing you a lot of fun times with it. Going for blacks is JJ Diaries. They all look great. I would buy the black to play it safe. But the blue and pink combo is my favorite. Yeah, blue and pink really rocks my boat as well. But these are the safest ones. Also, if you want a piece of Chanel history, you know you're not going to go wrong with a look from the actual runway. You know what I mean? The second model that hit the runway had these on. So it's like always... Plus, they're really beautiful. So, I mean, some it's, I'm not saying that every pair of Chanel sunglasses that hit the runway are worthy of a purchase. But me being a Chanel sunglass collector since decades... You know, I was like, yeah, of course, these two glasses are a must. But they actually really wear very well. I mean, they're, it's not, you know, it, it's black on black. And you don't really see the logo, which is also cool for people who don't really want logos very visible. They're very tiny. And because you see the whole padding is glossy, acetate, it reflects light everywhere, right? So you don't really see where's the double C there. You, you don't really see it very well, you know. You only see it if you come very close to the glasses. So it's much more subtle. For people who are not logo crazy, this is definitely more of a of a zhuzh, of a moment. But if you're more for the 90s crazy um, logo, th then, then you're going for this. 
And even even this, you know, for 90s standard, it could have been bigger. They could have made the double C even bigger if they wanted to. It would have been even, you know, th th those were the 90s. And this is a kind of a toned down version uh, for, for today. Uh, Asia says, is it gold plated logo for all colors? And, well, no, this is black. These double C's are plastic, I think, or or maybe they're they're metal coated. I'm not sure, but all of the other three are gold. So this maybe because it's very illuminated, it might look no no. You can see that it's gold. It doesn't look silver because on the Chanel website, and this is why I thought, wait a minute, I don't want them. They look silver, and I didn't want them because I was like, eh, I don't want silver. But then I went to you know. I saw more pictures, went to the plane. Oh my God, it's actually not silver, it's gold. So I was very happy about that because I, I love the gold. And of course, if, if this is gold, the inside has to be gold as well. These little hinges. And be very, very careful. There's a lot of replicas out there, especially with these sunglasses. Like, it's insane. It's insane. And as I always say with sunglasses, be very careful because these have UV protection. If you buy replicas, they don't care much for the lenses. The lenses might be more damaging to your eyes rather than helping your eyes to protect them from UV rays. Because with all these replicas, they don't follow any norms. They don't follow any laws to, to actually make lenses that protect the eyes. They might cause more damage than good. So be very, very careful. Um, you know, I, I just don't buy sunglasses that you're not sure have proper UV protection and not just some fake, you know, they, you know what I mean? Because they can do more damage than they can do more harm than good if they're if they're wrong. Um, that's that. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Let me say goodbye with glasses. Oh, you know, new babies, pink. Yes, Michael Myers is living ferret. He's also living ferret. Oh, this is also maybe a moment for a thumbnail. Michael with a Chanel bag and me. Okay, you guys, thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed this video. Thumb it up if you liked it. Subscribe to my channel. Until next time, and until the next unboxing, never forget to never give up on love. Love you all. See you soon. Take care. Bye.